Hi, I'm Dr. Rob Young. I'm a cellular microbiologist, and I want to share with you something that I think is very incredible. It's an experiment. What I have here is my light meter, and what I'd like to demonstrate is the importance of salt and how we need to include more salt in our diet and how significant sugar destroys the energies of our bodies and how we need to eliminate sugar out of our diet. So I'd like to start out by taking some uh, water here. This is uh, spring water and I've got my probe. I'm going to go ahead and put the, the probe into uh, the water to see if we've got any electrons or electric conductivity. Now, let me just explain something here that's, I think, very, very important. And that is our bodies do not run on calories. They do not run on carbohydrates or proteins or fats. Our body runs on electricity. It runs on electrons. And so when we eat food, we eat food for its electrical potential or its electron concentration. So if I have a food or a drink that I'm testing, because of my research and what I've been studying for the last 30 years is how what we drink and what we eat affects the internal environment of our bodies. And is it going to energize the body or enervate the body? So here we have some water that we're testing that has no apparent electrical concentration in the form of electrons. Now I know you all know about this because when you go out and buy batteries, what kind of batteries do you buy? You buy the alkaline bar batteries. And what that really refers to is, is alkaline because of its electrical potential. So when batteries are energized, it's in relationship to their electron concentration. Okay, and when batteries go dead, they've lost their, they've lost their electrical potential. So what we have here is basically an electron deficient or an acid water that, that is going to give no energy or life force to the body. So what I'd like to then, then show you is what uh, we can do to energize that body is by taking some simple salts such as sodium, potassium, or magnesium, and calcium, and then add that salt to the water. And of course, when we add that salt to the water, we increase the electrical potential of the water and its electrical conductivity, which lights up my light meter. Okay, let's go ahead and pour another uh, bottle uh, of a uh, little glass of water here. Okay, we'll go back then. Uh, to the the water here. Let's try the same thing with some cane sugar. Now this is supposed to be natural cane sugar. Uh, of course you can see it's been processed. That's why it's white. It's bleached. We'll go ahead and put some cane sugar into the water. And this mineral water with cane sugar does not energize the water. And of course we can see that for the fact that it didn't light up our light meter. Let's go back to our salt water again, and there we are. Let's go ahead and take a third one, all right? This third one is using uh, a mineral salt, a natural mineral salt, uh, unprocessed from the north shore of the Great Salt Lake. Now, there are differences between salt. Uh, most salt that's on the market has been processed. It's, be, it's been demineralized. Now, this, this product here, which is a liquid salt, has not been demineralized, so it, it, it's a whole salt which contains over 72 natural minerals. We'll go ahead and, and put the probe, the light probe, into the water. As we can see, it did not light up our meter, so we're going to go ahead and spray a little bit of this uh, uh, mineral salt, which increases electrical conductivity and electrons, therefore we have our light once again. Let's go back then to our salt water solution of magnesium, calcium, uh, potassium, and sodium. And let's go ahead and then add some sugar. Now the example here is I'd like you to think of this glass as your body. Okay, energized, full of life. When you then incorporate sugar into the diet, and it comes in a lot of different forms as you already know, when we put sugar into the body, we don't energize the body, but we literally destroy its life force. And this is what's happening here. So the more sugar we eat, the less energy we will have. And in fact, what the body has to do, it has to respond to this sugar. And the reason why is because it's acidic. 
And the way it responds is by releasing stored energies to neutralize the sugar. And that's why we feel energy when we eat sugar, not because sugar is putting energy into our body, but it's actually poisoning our body, and our bodies are then reacting to that sugar by releasing electrons or electrical potential to neutralize uh, the sugar or the acid. In summary, let's take uh, the probe of our light meter, put it into the salt. As we can see, we've got energy. If we take uh, the probe and put it into the sugar water, we have no energy. Why? Because the body does not run on sugar. The body runs on salt. That's why all of the fluids of our body are salted. Our tears, uh, our saliva, our urine, our blood, our sweat are all salty solutions. And we need salt. In fact, we should be eating uh, approximately 12 to 14 grams of salt. And that's if you are, are approximately 70 kilos or 154 pounds. We need to avoid sugar. So the question should come up, you know, not should we limit our salt, but we should limit or eliminate the sugars in our diet and increase the salt, which will then bring life and light and energy and vitality to our bodies. Isn't that what we're looking for? I think so. And so I would encourage you all to consider what I'm showing you here uh, today and think about salt and alkalinity and that our bodies run on electrons, okay? Not calories, not carbohydrates, not proteins, not fats, but the electrical energy or the electrons from that food. And when we can put more electron-rich green foods and green drinks into our diet, this is when we literally uh, energize our, our bodies and we become healthier, we become more fit. And this is what I have found in my cellular research. So I share this with you uh, so that you can then apply these principles uh, to help energize and revitalize your body.